Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how to create a ClickFunnels 2.0 workspace. This is going to be great for anyone who say has a really big team, it's more than just one person, or maybe you're an agency where a lot of people need to use ClickFunnels. If you'd like to log in to follow along, I will leave my link down below. In case you're not using ClickFunnels 2.0, you want to try it out, that will also help you get a free 14 day trial. So feel free to check that out if needed. What we want to do is once we're on the dashboard, or if you're anywhere, once you log in on the dashboard for ClickFunnels, click on these settings tab on the left. Upon doing so, you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom. It's going to say team settings. So click on the edit team settings button. And it's going to be pretty quick from here. I'm just going to talk to you about the rest once we do one more thing. On the left side, you're going to see a bunch of icons. The one we want right here is team workspaces. And click on add new workspace. And the rest is going to pretty much be up to you. So what you want to do is add in your workspace name and then of course your workspace and site domain. And once you do that, click on create workspace. Keep in mind, as it says with the billing attention, you will be subject to being billed for additional teams and workspaces that are created during the beta. So that's just something to keep in mind. I personally don't need to do it because I'm an army of one. I guess you could say I don't have an agency or anything like that, but I know a lot of people out there are going to be curious about how you can do that. Those are going to be the steps. And once you do that, following through with that, it's pretty much going to be like you just created a new account. You can log in from there and then you're going to have multiple workspaces to choose from. If I go back, let's see one or two more. This is where you're going to see the other workspaces after. So for example, you can log in with that one. Then there'd be others under that if you want to add them in or once you did add them in. But anyway, those are going to be the process or the steps when it comes to adding a new ClickFunnels 2.0 workspaces in case you're an agency, in case you have a team and you need more logins when it comes to ClickFunnels 2.0. Hope you got some value out of this when it comes to answering your questions. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And lastly, if you want to test out ClickFunnels 2.0, I will have my link down in the description. Thank you so much for watching. My name is James and I'll see you in my next video.